the impact of Gen AI on the workplace. There's good news and bad news. And the bad news is that Gen AI is displacing jobs. Uh, on our YouTube channel, uh, I posted an interview with this civil engineering business owner. And uh, it's a story where he had employed two and a half software developers. And because of ChatGPT, he found out because he's a very resourceful guy that he was able to do all that software development himself, even though he's a civil engineer. And uh, he was able to also, in the end, get a job done in three and a half days that uh, used to take two, two and a half to three months. And so it's an amazing story of software engineering jobs being absorbed by someone that's really doesn't have a strong technical background, but is very resourceful. Um, now, in that video, he uh, shares something where he says, he tells all of his friends, do not go into computer science. That's, there's not going to be any of those jobs in the future. And that's not really going to be true, okay? Uh, it's not as bad as what he thinks. He has that perspective because the kinds of software that his team needed to write were actually pretty simple stuff. Um, uh, what Gen AI is going to do is it's just going to raise the bar of the level that each software developer can contribute at. And so it's it's basically, if you get power tools, if you have power saws and other kinds of power tools, well, you can produce much more than you could with hand tools. That's what the situation is. So uh, I would recommend uh, looking into that story, uh, but not to be too freaked out by his projections of the software development field going away. That's not really what's going to happen. But what is happening is that uh, companies that are adopting Gen AI for software development, they are able to get a lot more done with a lot less people. And so at Edensoft Labs, we've actually done a lot of analysis of open source code bases, and we've done pr developer productivity analysis of 420 companies covering 17 billion lines of code and 820,000 full-time engineers. And this is what we see that there's significant increase in developer productivity amongst companies that have heavily adopted this. Uh, and these companies are examples, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Meta, there's others too. Um, but what's happened is that there has been a decrease in headcount via layoffs, but also at the same time, rising profits due to greater financial efficiencies. So this is a chart here that um, I'm showing of these four companies, uh, the headcount decreasing, but at the same time, their profits increasing. So the sum of the profits of uh, these companies that are you know, basically providers of Gen AI and then therefore definitely making their developers use it, uh, their profits are at all time highs. And so uh, there is a trend doing more with less. All right. So here's the impact on employability. This is what you need to know. As of today, Gen AI is very effective for performing many tasks, but is not very effective for displacing entire jobs. Gen AI productivity boosts are driving these tech layoffs due to the need for less humans to get the work done. But we're also seeing that probably more than 80% of the developers out there that we've analyzed are really lagging in Gen AI adoption and proficiency. It's just like really a small fraction of companies that it's obvious that they've really pushed this onto their developers and they're seeing really big gains. And we are too, we are too uh, on, on my team. But um, mastering Gen AI is key to current and future employability. So this is something that uh, I hope at the end of this that you all are motivated as performers to really check out how to get good at this so that you can be very viable uh, as an employee in the future.